How's it going, guys? Uh, Matt here with Toxic Stall Gaming, and actually bringing something a little bit different to you today. We're doing some Warhammer 3 Total War Warhammer 3 gameplay. I'm going to be playing uh, the Realm of Chaos campaign. For those of you who are, uh, aren't familiar with that, that's kind of the campaign exclusive to Warhammer 3. Um, on that, they're a little bit more kind of like story mode based compared to the Immortal Engines campaign that has um, all the factions from Warhammer 1, 2, um, all the DLC from those and, and the main content from those games all in one huge map um, on that there uh, but we're just going to be doing the Realm of Chaos Warhammer 3 exclusive mode um, playing as Korn and uh, yeah I mean really fun campaign something you know um, that I've been wanting to do for a while you know I know we focus a lot on different TCG games stuff like that um, definitely more a little bit more into the video game side of things myself but um, yeah, just excited to, to do something a little bit different, bring this gameplay to you guys here. Um, then yeah, not a whole lot else to say. We're just going to go ahead and get started with the campaign here. So, and again, this is kind of a, a rough draft to see how everything kind of ends up after editing, filming, stuff like that. Um, but no, I'm a big, big Total War fan myself, I think. Um, I've been spending a lot of time with Warhammer 3 recently, but... Um, also been playing Pharaoh, which with the new uh, Dynasty update and everything, we can play as the minor factions, has been, been really fun. I enjoy, um, you know, Pharaoh, I enjoy Troy as well. Like a lot of those Bronze Age Total War games I think are, are really good. Um, obviously things like Shogun 2, you know, fantastic. Really enjoy those. Um, kind of the more historical ones too. Even stuff like Napoleon, Empire. Um, while those games aren't perfect, you know, I, I like certain aspects of those as well, but I think, um, you know, if you ever wanted to try, like, a Total War game, um, I would probably recommend either Shogun 2 or like, any of the Warhammer ones, too. Um, you know, I don't know, like, everything about, you know, the Warhammer lore and everything, but, um, you know, still find it really enjoyable. There's a lot of unique characters in the game as well. Um, so, yeah, and we're just kind of playing on, like, normal difficulty, nothing... Nothing too crazy to want to, you know, um, the whole get into like a, a really bad like disaster it. campaign or anything. Hopefully, so from their um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and yeah, and kind of play it and stuff. For the most part, I'm gonna play most of the battles. Um, you know, unless it's like one or two units that I'm going up against that you know really wouldn't be worth it. Then um, we'll probably just auto some of those. But, Slaughter the mortal insects that yeah. infest this region. <laughs> And claim blood fire falls as your own. Further afield, you'll find plenty more. And I think Crone is probably like asunder. certainly one of the, the stronger starting hero characters Spanish that you can play as. So, the um, I mean, just just insane, insanely strong. I mean, just even like disciples. at early levels, really difficult to, to, to kill with, as well. Of course, so, um, but to kill. For your father cares yeah, not I, <laughs> from where the blood flows. In the south, you may encounter green. We're just going to go ahead and skip that exposition there. Um, so, one of the things that's really unique about Total War, uh, really any of the Warhammer games, collect. is that they all have different, Let the reaping you know, commence. wind conditions to an extent, but they also have different, like, currency. Um, playing as this faction, you have skulls, which is, is very important when you're taking over territories, you, you typically need skulls, so, um, yeah, just have a, a decent starting army here, we're gonna, before we jump into battle, we're gonna upgrade some of these here. I'm just trying to remember which one I usually... Do that one there for the the gold and the casualty uh, replenishment, and then we're just gonna go ahead and attack. Kind of first battle here, not gonna be anything too difficult. They do have a lord on their side, so I mean it's gonna be um, at least somewhat interesting. I mean it's not like I'm gonna send all my units in and they're gonna rout. So, um, which I mean I, I probably still could, but they have you know three melee units they have a cavalry unit as well nothing like super strong i don't have any ranged units really at the moment so that's like that's the one weakness with um 
this faction is that the they really don't focus too much on both many and um, like range a ton of ranged units so um These guys kind of over here. And we'll just group the main unit kind of together here. Go ahead and start with that. The god of war exalts in killing. Shed blood in the name of Khorne, and his favor will fall upon you. We're just going to kind of see who attacks first or who brings out their units first. Yeah, they don't really have any ranged units, so I'm not afraid to, you know, push up farther or anything. Um, I mean, really, the only thing I would be kind of worried about is if they move their um, horsemen around. But even then, I mean, I'm not too concerned. So um, we're going to go ahead and start this up. This is, yeah, Rampage. Okay. So let's go ahead and just get started here. We're going to move. Cavalry in. Hopefully, kind of fling some of these units here. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> so, and, and again, I mean, this this lord is almost unfair just because, especially early on, he's such a strong character and he's just about impossible to kill. Especially later on when you build up his armor, hit points, um, give him give him some really good equipment. I mean, it's scary <laughs> so yeah I mean there's not not much of a challenge here uh, yeah my warhounds retreated and they're a pretty weak unit anyway I mean so we're gonna go ahead and regroup and we're just gonna attack the, their lord there Make sure that their army doesn't have a chance of, uh, you know, coming back or anything. Let's go ahead and use that for fun, I guess. through this here so we're not waiting for a minute or two okay probably lost like last less than 25 I mean that's not not bad I mean especially when you have I mean um, I mean some of these smaller units and, and stuff like with the melee units you're, you're gonna have some losses with them I mean it's just you know not quite like Skaven um, the, the another faction in the game um, that you know they have uh, in terms of like just like the unit amounts like the quantities they're they're huge and they can have ginormous armies but a, a lot of the times too they're especially earlier on they're weaker units um, did get crown of command which is good um, don't really need the replenishment a ton actually gonna go for this Good option. A potent ally has joined have your ranks. Another Embed hero that joined us, so we'll go ahead and... Let us in know! Let Reaper 
Add more demons to your army, sire. Gonna go and have these two guys get together. I mean, there's not... Not a ton. I mean, I could do more warhounds. I'm just not a big fan. Like, their leadership is 38. Um, and with their leadership, what leadership is for... Um, basic units that don't have leadership abilities is just kind of like their will to fight, you know, um, their morale, I guess. So, like, the higher the leadership, the less likely they are to route. Um, you know, and it's not not like a super expensive unit, so I might just do one of those. You know, give me two of those guys. Call it good for a turn. Um, now, this is where um, I do like their tech tree because they have a lot of unique things that are all based on skulls. So, the more skulls you have, um, the, the, the quicker you can research things. So, like, I'm gonna go for, um, gonna do that first, get, get movement speed up, which is very important, um, when you're on the campaign map. Pass turn, wait and see what happens, so. And they might, yeah, they're gonna send... The brass glacier is inhabited. What I'll probably do is I'll capture from the like these three provinces tribe. that are part of this uh, territory or part of the area, um, so I can get the bonus from that. But then, after that, I'm probably just going to start raising a lot of the other settlements to get skulls. I mean, you know. So let's go ahead and we'll attack. This battle here. It's not going to be a siege battle, so that's that's good. I guess it's the settlement garrison. Pretty weak. They have um, like the equivalent to our warhounds, which you know, again, their leadership is going to be pretty pretty low, I think. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and. Uh, Not equip this crown yet, so I'm gonna have to do that. Um, Your army marches into battle with great powers, my lord. Be sure to make use of them. But yeah, I don't think they have any artillery units except the horsemen, I guess. So we have to watch out for that. But um, yeah, I'm not too worried. I mean, I could send Crone in by himself, probably. Be sure to it. use your mounted soldiers to full effect, Commander. Harass the enemy formation. And strike at their weakest points. Group your units for best effect, Commander. Formations may be useful when maneuvering before the enemy. some um, some factions that actually benefit from like keeping the battle going and trying to eliminate all the units and stuff um, where others you really don't see that big of a, a difference so we're just gonna let that you know go there wipe out those units call that good um, yeah and that was that was a really good good one there we have one of these units that leveled up it looks like so you know, 
we will definitely take that and um, yeah their their army is is gone so do not uh, not gonna get any remaining units from that one so yeah, we'll probably try to capture you know two or three more territories and then um, kind of end this for part one and then you know again probably upload a, a you know two parts a week type type thing there still trying to figure out what works best for that i'm still gonna have the regular tcg content of course as well in terms of like market watches um things like that as well we've actually been looking at um the new star wars tcg as well star wars unlimited and um really interested in that seems like you know we're all kind of interested in getting some games in um, maybe doing some videos of that too so definitely keep an eye out for that seems like uh as a big star wars fan i'm glad that they have a good seems like they had a really good tcg and a really good kind of roadmap on um you know supporting the tcg as well and um yeah really excited for that we're gonna go ahead and um occupy this you can see how many skulls that took to, to do that so um corn looks favorably on those that fight. yeah the region under that, the volcano's shadow is yours which is why with this you know you definitely don't want to uh the dawdle and trespass within its borders you know, capture like every single, uh, every single territory because you just don't have the skulls to do it. I mean, you're gonna go, you'll, you'll go bankrupt doing doing that. Um, Always do route marcher, obviously get the uh, bonus Those movement that serve speed. Your cause, gain experience. And let's do and wait there on that. Yeah, we have some dark elves to get next, it looks like, so I am going to recruit these guys. These Chaos Warriors are some of my favorite units in the game. Um, because I mean they're fairly they're reasonably uh, cheap. I mean, they're, you know, 190 upkeep per unit, but um, you can get that down lower, too, with some of the stuff in their tech trees. Um, yeah, now we're going to go ahead and start capturing some of these areas here. Is this the... Yeah, so we're going to have to go up north. Uh, Probably. And I know some, you know, some people might just kind of raise everything, but it's, I think, important to have a kind of a good base, and then you can go out and you can just start wiping out um, other factions, but just have kind of a good startup, I think, is important. Um, yeah, I mean, this isn't going to be too difficult of a, a battle, but we'll go ahead and fight that. We're just gonna rush in. I mean, we really don't have too much strategy with something like this, I don't think. Um, you know, they do have hidden units, obviously. But, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get 
Battle's over pretty much at this point. Yeah, these guys haven't even fought him yet. Not probably lost like five units. Twenty one. I mean that's but it wasn't uh wasn't too difficult there. I, <laughs> So I think we're going to uh, obviously capture th this one here and then um, capture the last one I need to complete the area. It's getting very low on skulls, so that's kind of my concern, I suppose. But you know, besides that, doing all right. A tool of court's wrath. Should be pretty close. Yeah, we could uh, move here. The last place we need to capture is up here. So we will start moving that way there. We're going to do skulls for the skull throne. Um, I mean, that just gives you a passive 50 every turn, which is good. Um, Arrival power comes to Pali, demanding a change in your mutual relations. No, I'm okay with that. You're the only going to offer 200. Of the weak and feeble not worth it are contemptible to the um, blood god. Spread your corrupting influence beyond your realm. actually, I'm going to... I need to get skulls to capture that. that so what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, raise these two settlements. I think that's probably the, the play there. Say this one will be a good. I think this will be a good battle here. One that can't just rush in, you know, because um, they do have a lord. They have reinforcements coming in as well. Um, the only thing I do see now is that they have a flying unit. I don't think I have. I'm not going to have anything that can. Uh, get that maybe but we will uh jump off that bridge when we get there I... okay figure out how i'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and group these units put them back there yes um Probably will let them come to me. Um, the enemy command the high ground. I don't know. Do they have much for missile units? I don't think they have any. I don't have any missile units, which is good. But um, I am going to wait 
for the reinforcements to come in, I think. Just that way I'm dealing with everything at once, you know. Um, was I don't want to, like, move my units up and then have them, have the reinforcements come up behind me and then be like, you know, have to try to split up my army uh, even more so. So we'll just put it on fast forward to... Be sure to use the maps available to assist your tactical plan. Units out the forest to... may be used to conceal your movements, Commander. Close with the enemy under cover of the trees to retain the element of surprise. I just don't know where the reinforcements are unless they're already. It has to be the case because it's been about four minutes now at this point. So... Okay, we're gonna get ready to attack here. If we can kill, if we can get the the Lord, that'll probably cause them to retreat. Um, Oh boy, my guy is actually getting, um, he's not doing well. Again, though, if we can get the Lord killed, that'll be good. Uh, this guy is about to blow up, so we are going to have him retreat. Not too late. Okay. Let's just get him. If we can get him, that's... The enemy general has been wounded in battle, my lord, and can no longer lead his troops. Press home your advantage. I don't know where the, re the reinforcements must have started out with them. They must have already been there, I guess. But I don't know where... I did lose my uh, chariot, which is going to be tough, because I mean, that's a, a pretty high-level unit, but... Um, you know. Whatever, we'll just go ahead and kill. Guys just walking around in the circle fast. Sure. See, I mean, really not bad. I mean, we we did pretty well in that, but just um, I'm gonna have to wait a couple of turns before I do much. I'm I'm gonna raise the settlement. Um, I'm gonna have to probably retreat because I just don't have. I mean, my if my if Scarbrand was at full health, then I'd be like, yeah, let's just keep marching. But um, that is uh is obviously not the case there so um you know i'm gonna go ahead and raise that there the blood god esteems slaughter above all things and there is no more fitting tribute to his rage than the skulls of those killed in battle. See, the problem is, is I Send just don't have enough skulls to capture. To augment um, his throne, and his favor will fall upon you. The the next the, this bridge over here. Um, nope. Not gonna do a peace treaty yet. So I don't really have a reason. For that. Just gotta keep moving, keep upgrading when we can, and. Probably gonna do a few more turns and then end the, the video here, um, so it's not like a, a super long video. Um, 
Diplomacy is the refuge of fools and weaklings. Yet it Capture may also serve your mission um, for conquest. A pact of non-aggression yeah. can be a useful I mean, tool another economy to bind going, the hands um, of your rivals, leaving you free to make war elsewhere. Only the strongest may serve. Again, keep, keep getting these guys because these guys are very, very strong units, especially early on. Um, so, I crave bloodshed. And we're just gonna head back and attack uh, this one. Probably attack. Uh, okay, so they do have a uh, lord. It looks like there. We'll see if he kind of what he does there. Um, Yeah, they're gonna capture, which I'm fine with that. I mean, I can, I'll attack that base Your again. Your efforts would be you know, strengthened by the raising of a new army. Appoint another command, bunch of, and you uh, can open a second front against your foes. Recommending that I do another army right now. I'm not gonna. Not gonna do that at this point because there's just not much of a reason to do that, I think. And he's gonna run back and. Okay. I mean, I'll probably the just auto it. Of not recent have... battles. Get another thousand skulls for not really doing anything. Um, do upgrade that. Last turn. There is benefit in not killing you. Uh oh, they've ended the non-aggression pact. So that is not. Not gonna be a huge deal right now, but this is gonna be interesting too. Is he gonna attack? Or he's gonna have to attack for somebody. Um, do that, obviously. Consider varying your tactics when maneuvering in the face of the enemy, my lord. Placing an ambush or setting a defensive camp go may bring about victory him, where a straight engagement would fail. Oh, I think I can still get him. Oh, he's in trouble now. In there. We're going to attack the uh, Twisted Towers. He has all this flying, all these flying units. I can't, like, also probably going to, probably just going to auto-resolve that, honestly. It's like, that's going to be tough to do when I uh, don't have any artillery units. So we'll do that. Um, Should have just sacked that in hindsight because now I'm gonna be like, well, let's get tower and let's get you know, but oh, that's okay. Intensify my blood rage. You know, isn't like a, a huge amount, but that's still pretty, pretty solid there. So I think probably one more turn here. Um, 
Actually, tell you what, um, since we're so close, I'm just going to go ahead and um, capture this area down there, and uh, probably going to end the video at that point, so... Call that good, kind of around the hundred faction mark there, and they don't have anybody there right now. So, um, yeah, they just have a lord. It looks like in the garrison. Natural so resources are abundant in this place. Pretty easy to do. Um, so we're gonna have two more turns. It looks like before we get there, which is fine because we're still replenishing some of these units. So I'm not, uh, you know, definitely okay with that. Pass turn, then we'll attack uh, Black Rock here. Joined up there, recruiting more units, but should be okay. Um, heroes which are um, a little bit weaker obviously but still I mean that's a lot of troops um, and some trolls to, to top it off I guess because that's not enough um, I mean it's giving me a close victory auto resolve I'm going to um, yeah let's just let's just auto resolve much better than uh, what I would have been able to do there um, we just have to do the stalls it looks like for now. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and assign some points here. Um let's do meme. Oh the better to spill blood. turn and um, I think that'll probably be it for part one guys um, make sure nothing crazy happens here but Lord we have brokered an alliance with your brothers oh, they lie we might actually do as the enemy approach the priest Battle is okay, upon so we're not going to do that. Um, the enemy mass in great strength. See for yourself. You may wish to consider yeah, that's whether not an work attack for me. would be wise. Not even, even if I had a full, um, full army. That's not. I'm going to have to wait a little bit on that one there. Um, I crave let's just move him back there real quick. Stars. Pass turn. Say total war is a lot like uh, civilization. It's always always one more turn, right? Just you know, one more thing you can do. It's yeah, tough to tough game to put down at times. The population um, of this province has grown under your care. And so that's good. We'll move. We'll upgrade that there. Uh, Scarbrand is at level eleven now, which is pretty good as well. Um, yeah, we're just gonna move him back to uh, back to a, a base here, and 
That's good. Got that research. That and then, um, I don't have too much I really want to recruit at this point. Um, I am gonna recruit a little bit and bring it kind of two armies a little bit. Um, let's go to. We'll just give him some basic units for now. Um, then we'll pass turn, and then, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for part one, guys. We're a little over 40 minutes, it looks like, with the recording. So, again, don't want you to fall asleep watching this or, or anything, you know, but... Um, Oops, maybe no, I appreciate you, uh, yeah, watching if you're up to this point and stuff. Again, just something different we're trying on the channel. Um, you know, any, any, you know, comments, criticisms, anything, anything that you would like to see, you know, done a little bit differently in the next recording, um, you know, let me know. I mean, that's, you know, you're not going to hurt my feelings. So just, uh, um, yeah, I, uh, no, I appreciate you guys, uh, again, hopefully sticking around to this point here. Um, not quite sure how many parts this is going to be. I mean, we're under, um, you know, we don't have a whole lot of factions left necessarily. So, um, you know, kind of looking at the, the map here, I guess, um, you know, probably not going to be, you know, it's not going to be like a 20-part series, at least on this campaign or anything. Um, so it is a little bit shorter, and once I really start going with two armies, it's going to be raising territory after territory, and, you know, going to be pretty pretty straightforward, I think. But, um, no, I think this is where we're going to end part one. Again, thank you very much for watching. You know, uh, you know, again, comment what, you know, you liked about this video, what you'd like to see differently. Um, you know, again, if you're not subscribed, you know, feel free to subscribe. If you're a fan of TCG stuff, we're going to be doing a lot more with kind of strategy games, I think, as well. Just me being a big Total War fan. Um, there's a Total War game that you'd like to see, you know, something like a Shogun 2, um, Empire, you know, uh, maybe some new Pharaoh gameplay as well with a new update that's out with Dynasties. Um, yeah, let me know. But again, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and have a great day.